I want to share this dream that I had with you all. So last week, I had a dream that I had traveled out of the country. And upon arrival to this country that I was going to, there were two lanes of access to get into the country. So on the left lane, there was a line of people that were waiting to get this injection in order to get into the country. And there was this guy that was very militant-like. I don't know if he was in the military or if he was just an authority figure, but he was the one regulating that line and people could not pass through him um, in order to get to the country. Like they couldn't get into the country without passing through him, right? And then I was on the, um, the right side, the right lane. And um, for whatever reason, I found favor in his sight and he signaled to me like, you go ahead like you don't need this and so I was just like okay I felt like it was kind of weird and so that was the end of that dream um or that was the end of that segment of the dream and so then as I was arriving back into the country of or my country of origin I went to the airport and this lady that worked at the airport was like hey like did you take the injection I need proof that you took the injection in order for you to get back into the country that you initially left and I was like, no, I didn't take the injection. And she's like, okay, no problem. I want you to eat this thing. So she gave me something to eat. I don't remember what it was. She gave me something to eat and say, I need you to eat this thing. And when you eat it, it's going to cause you to poop. Okay. I know. She's like, it's going to cause you to poop. And I, when you poop, I need you to take a picture of it and then show it to me. By pooping, what that is going to symbolize is that it's cleared your system out of the virus just in case it's there. And so I'm just kind of like, this is kind of weird. Like, why am I taking a picture of, you know, my poop and then showing it to the lady? This is kind of weird. I know I, I don't have this virus, but okay, I'm going to eat this. I'm going to do what she tells me to do. And then, so I did it and showed it to her and then she let me back into the country. That was last week, y'all. Then I had another dream last night that I was going to the grocery store and before I even got into the grocery store, the grocery store worker stops me and is like taking my temperature with the th uh, thermometer and it's like, you know, your temperature is like 99 to 100 uh, degrees you're running a high temperature, you have a fever, you cannot get into uh, the grocery store to buy anything. And here I am thinking like, I'm not sick, like, you know, looking at myself and I'm like, I'm okay, like, I'm not sick, but she did not allow me entry into the grocery store. And so what I got from the two of those dreams was that there is another pandemic coming, okay? I didn't gather that it was COVID um, because, you know, I would have known that it was a COVID vaccine that they were trying to make us take in the first dream that I shared with you all but I do know that there is another pandemic on its way and that the Lord is telling us this so that we can be prepared I don't want you all to be afraid I don't want you all to be very frazzled and like ah what do I do what do I do this is not that kind of dream I believe that when the Lord reveals things he does it so that for our good he does it so that we know how to prepare so that we have the strategy on how to uh, avoid whatever impact that could happen on us right and so just think about when the prophecies came about Jesus coming right there were several prophecies that were released before Jesus finally came okay that was God's love to the people letting them know hey there's hope the Bible says the law came through Moses but grace and truth came through Jesus Christ and so imagine the hope the people had that oh my gosh there's a Messiah that is coming and so I don't have to live in this old systemic way of relating with God you know I have to constantly go through a high priest I have to constantly you know wait for this one day of atonement I have to constantly sacrifice bulls and goats and all of these things in order for my sins to be atoned for there is hope through Jesus Christ you know there is grace through Jesus Christ and so all of those prophecies came before Jesus finally came and why did God give those prophecies and warnings so that the people could be comforted and knowing that hey there's grace coming for you hallelujah right and even after jesus left several prophecies were released about him coming back again right his second return that the church is currently waiting on right where we believe that jesus is coming back again why have these prophecies come about why have these warnings come about because god wants his church to be ready he wants his bride to be ready without blemish without fault so that we don't miss his return so that when he comes back we can go with him so that when he comes we can reign with him in glory that is why God gives words like this okay it's because he loves us it's because he wants us to be prepared God is able to keep his children and preserve his children preserve his body in times of plagues and you know outbreaks of whatever diseases and, and, and viruses that the enemy is 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 
plotting for for the world okay be encouraged and i also believe that god is saying that he wants us to gather in this season gather our resources this is not the time to splurge you know with your money and i'm speaking to myself as well okay this is not the time to splurge this is not the time to waste away with your resources this is the time to be prudent with your spending prudent with your money okay be wise in how you spend be wise in this season this is the season to gather this is not the season to splurge all of your resources be very careful with how you spend in this season i know that in the u.s during the time of covid they gave out stimulus checks to help people you know to be able to to eat to be able to pay their bills because we weren't able to work during that time i don't know it wasn't clear to me in the dream if there was any sort of relief coming right the lord he, he reveals in part so i don't know but what i am saying is just be prudent with your resources be careful uh with how you spend and just be wise of the times and just pray you know considering all that i've shared go back and pray and say lord is this true lord how should i prepare okay and i also want you all to just pray psalm 91 over yourself and over your family as much as you can because in doing so you're gonna you're gonna see that your faith and your confidence is arising and you're gonna know that okay i'm actually okay that the lord is able to keep me even in the